Talking with Iowa women's basketball coach Lisa Bluter here on SiouxCityJournal.com. Lisa, you had a fantastic season, and obviously Megan was a huge part of that success. Obviously, it's going to be a huge challenge in the offseason trying to fill that void. How do you? You know, you just can't expect the same looking team out there. I think that we have to adjust. And I think one of the things that our staff does really well is we emphasize our strengths and we hide our weaknesses. And so here we're going to be more of a guard-oriented team. We're going to be a little bit more up-tempo. Uh, and so basically we're going to shoot a lot of threes. I was just about to ask, is it going to be more guard-oriented? And how do you kind of adjust from being going from – opposedly in a team to a guard or in a team. You know, it's not hard. You know, it's just a different emphasis. And uh, it goes back to teaching and going back to the like a four-out, one-in offense the, over the summer. And, you know, now we get four hours a week with them during the summer. And so we get a little extra practice time. Plus, this is our year that we get to go on our foreign trip, which we get to go once every four years. That gives us 10 extra practices, about 30 extra hours of practice time before we go over there. So it'll be a really beneficial this year to have that. How much of an impact will this season have on future teams, on future pools, things like that? Yeah, you know, I hope it makes a great impact on recruiting. Uh, you know, it's uh, recruiting is such an ongoing process, uh, but I think that it will help us uh, with recruiting that we ended up as the seventh ranked team in the United States. Uh, but also it's a fans, you know, I mean, our attendance was amazing. Uh, we broke the NCAA record for most fans in the first and second rounds ever. Uh, we had over 23,000 fans in those first two games. And so to me, I think it's also an, an, uh, just putting Iowa on the map with our fans as well. Well, not only did you guys have a good season, but also Drake, also mm -hmm. Iowa State, also yeah. you and I. How much does that help having the big four all have good seasons? You know, I think it speaks volumes about the, the coaches that we have in the state, the high school coaches, the excitement for basketball, and that little girls are growing up wanting to play basketball because they know they have all these choices. So I just think it, it builds excitement for everybody within the state when all, all the teams are doing well, but it really gives the little girls an opportunity to think, yes, that's what I want to do. How much did that Drake game propel the team in going forward in the NCAAs especially? You know, I don't know that that game in particular, I mean, we had so many great games. And I mean, when you look at, you know, West Virginia, we beat them, you know, we beat Iowa State. Um, you know, all those other games really, I mean, you look at Maryland, beating Maryland twice, beating Rutgers twice. There was just a lot of really good games. And I wouldn't want to say that that one game was magical or anything for us, but it certainly was a great win. What, what did the returners learn from the Baylor game? You know, um, that's a great question. I think from the Baylor game, you know, you can't coach height sometimes, and 6'5 and 6'7 inside is pretty tough. But um, also I think Baylor was a really good defensive team, and I think it gives us an opportunity to really talk about the importance of defense.